Hey, what's going on my friends? Patrick here. As 2021 comes to a close, I thought it would be fun to make a little video and share my favorite music gear from this past year. I've got some great gear for your home studio, tools for producers and beat makers, and I've also got some really solid instruments that I wanna share with you as well. Everything we talk about today will be listed in the description below for you. Most of those are affiliate links, so if you purchase something using one of those links, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps to support this YouTube channel, so thanks in advance. The first category on my list is audio interfaces, one of the key cornerstones of the home studio, and we got some really dope new options in 2021. First up, we have the Minifuse line from Arturia. Minifuse 1 and Minifuse 2 feature one or two combination inputs, respectively. Both interfaces are packed with features. They have high quality mic preamps and come bundled with some great included software that will help you get a jump start making music. I've already used both of these interfaces pretty extensively to record instruments, vocals. I even have a little side project podcast that I've been recording with Minifuse 2. I'm a big fan. The quality that you're getting and the value that you're getting at the price is really great. Plus, if you are at all interested in what Arturia is doing on the software side of things, their effects plugins, their software instruments, this is definitely an interface that I would consider. You can check out my full review and demo right up here. Now, in my mind, the Minifuse interfaces were the clear entry-level choice that was until I saw the new Volt audio interfaces from Universal Audio. These Volt audio interfaces bring the top quality Universal Audio standard to an entry-level price point for the very first time, and these might be audio interfaces that you want to consider. Volt 1 and Volt 2 are the baseline models and feature combination inputs. The big deal is the selectable vintage preamp mode, which employs solid state electronics for tube-like dynamic saturation that's supposed to give you the sound of a 610 preamp. Now, the Volt 76 interfaces also feature that vintage preamp mode, but these interfaces add in a built-in FET compressor based on the classic 1176. And the 76 compressor push button also includes three different modes for vocals, guitars, and fast sources, like drums, for example. This feature will take all of the guesswork out of dialing in the right compressor settings for anybody who is new to working with compressors. I have yet to get my hands on one of these Volt audio interfaces, but I will be sure to link more info in the description below. Hands down, my favorite MIDI controller of 2021. Drum roll, please. The Jamstick Studio MIDI guitar. I'm sorry to disappoint my non-guitar player friends, but this thing is the best. This three quarter size guitar is a fully functional electric guitar. You can plug it into your amp. It works just like all of your other electric guitars. You have two humbucker pickups that can be coil split with this push pull volume knob, super nice touch. But the real magic of Jamstick Studio is its ability to connect to your computer as a MIDI controller and control any software instrument. Now, I know, technically this MIDI guitar did drop like mid 2020, but this orange finish is new for 2021. And honestly, this is one of my most used pieces of studio kit. If you're a guitarist who's writing and composing a lot of music or you're doing a lot of music production, this might be the ideal music creation tool for you. Now the price tag definitely ain't cheap, but when you consider all that this little guitar is capable of helping you create, makes a little more sense. You can of course check out my video with my full demo and review of Jamstick Studio and make sure to visit the link in the description below for 10% off your Jamstick Studio. This next group of plugins have legitimately become some of my most used tools for songwriting and music production and they're brought to you by today's video sponsor, Mixed in Key. Special thank you to my friends at Mixed in Key for sponsoring this portion of the video. First up, we have Captain Plugins, which is made up of five different plugins that will help you write chords, melodies, bass lines, and drum parts, all with the click of a button. Captain Plugins are the Mixed in Key plugins that I use most and have even demoed a number of times on this channel. Captain Chords, in particular, is so good that it's almost unfair. It's like having cheat codes for your creative process. With a few short clicks, you can literally come up with great sounding chord progressions in minutes. Be sure to check out this video up here to see me make a song completely from scratch using Captain Chords. 
And lastly, we've got to check out Mixed and Key's latest release, Mixed and Key Live, which allows you to instantly detect the key, beats per minute, specific notes of any audio that you play on your Mac. So if I'm listening to a song on Spotify that I really dig and I wanna make something just like it, I can quickly pull up Mixed and Key Live, press the listen button and instantly have the key and beats per minute of the song that I wanna reference. You can also drag and drop songs or samples onto Mixed and Key Live and you can simply just play samples from your DAW and Mixed and Key Live will detect the key in beats per minute. Mixed and Key Live was also developed in collaboration with producer Kashmir, which is super cool. Of course, there's plenty of ways to figure out a song's key or beats per minute, but Mixed and Key Live is designed to save you time and ultimately speed up your creative process. Definitely visit the description below for a discount code that will give you 10% off any Mixed and Key plugins. And as always, keep an eye out for those holiday season and end of year sales. Now, two more plugins slash sample libraries that I wanna share with my producer friends are Splice and Output Arcade. In 2021 in particular, both of these platforms received some pretty big upgrades. Now Splice really changed a lot this year. To really cover everything, definitely check out my video up here that lays out all the new plugins, and more importantly, the new plans that Splice is currently offering. But for the purposes of this video, I wanted to bring up the AstroSynth, which is a Splice subscriber exclusive synthesizer that was dropped this year. Now, in and of itself, Astra is a pretty straightforward virtual synth, but I think the real standout feature of Astra is the Astra presets that are now starting to roll out in the Splice original packs. like me, I'm a big presets guy. I like to just find a preset sound that I really like, throw it in and start creating. Splice has really been cranking out these Splice Originals packs and there's always great presets for either Astra or the drum machine, which is called Beatmaker. The downside is you have to subscribe to the creator plan, which costs $20 a month. And unfortunately, I think that just prices a lot of people out. But price tag aside, I've really been digging Astra and all the new packs and presets that are coming out for it. So if it makes sense for you, definitely check it out. Now, Output Arcade 2.0 introduced note kits. Note kits allow you to play chords and melodies the same way you would on a synthesizer, which expands upon Output Arcade's already existing sampler kits, which allow you to trigger and manipulate different samples. And the best news is, no price change, you can still access Output Arcade for $10 a month. Splice and Output Arcade are two tools that I really like. I think any producer or beat maker should definitely look into them. And of course, you can check out more info in the description below. Obviously, I've gotta have some instruments on this list. So let's start out with guitar. An electric that came out this year that I really, really dig is the Premier Bedford SH from D'Angelico. <laughs> Bedford SH evolved from D'Angelico's flagship solid body guitar, the Bedford, and upon its release, the Bedford SH quickly became a favorite in the guitar community. 2021 was actually the first year that D'Angelico offered the Bedford SH in their affordably priced Premier Series, and this new edition is definitely gonna make the Bedford SH even more popular. If you ask me, this new Fiesta Red finish is about as perfect looking as a guitar gets. It's got that classic 1950s electric guitar look to it. Really dig it. Be sure to check out my demo of all three D'Angelico Premier solid body guitars right up here. Now, a new acoustic guitar that I really dig is this Sierra model from Orangewood Guitars. This guitar is part of their new Topanga collection. <laughs> Now, if you're unfamiliar, Orangewood Guitars is an LA-based guitar company. They've made it their mission to offer quality instruments with modern yet timeless designs, 
all at an affordable price. This Topanga Collection, for example, is one of Orangewood's first premium lines. The Topanga Collection guitars feature a torified solid Sitka spruce top matched with solid Pawfero back and sides. One of the things I really like is that these guitars receive a professional setup before they're shipped out to you. So when the guitar shows up to you, it's nice and ready to play. If you wanna learn more, I will not only link to my demo of the Sierra model, but I will also link to the other Orangewood guitars that I've demoed and reviewed, and those come in at a cheaper price point. So definitely check that out. Supro dropped a few little amps this year that I think make great additions to any home studio. This is the Delta King 10, but you may also wanna check out the 64 Super and the 64 Reverb. I like the Delta King for its 6v6 powered tube amp tone. <laughs> It's a five watt tube amp, so it breaks up really easily to give you some nice overdrive and edge of breakup tones. This amp also features a line out on the back, which is a really cool way to add a little tube saturation into your DI guitar workflow, if that's your thing. But it can also give you a little more control and consistency when recording your guitar, especially if your home studio isn't completely treated or just isn't suitable for recording live amps. This amp is priced super affordably too, and you can check out my full review and demo right here. For the past several years, the Fender Player Series has featured some really exciting guitar and bass releases. The Fender Player Series is sort of a rebrand of the Made in Mexico series and features all of the classic Fender guitar and bass models at a more affordable price than the American-made instruments. In 2021, we saw a bunch of new Fender Player Series instruments, including new Player Plus Strats and Tellies, as well as this Acoustasonic Player Telecaster, which, Listen, I know not everybody's digging the Acoustasonic. I think it looks pretty sweet and I definitely wanna get my hands on one at some point. Now, I've been needing a bass for my studio for way too long. In 2021 was the year that I finally pulled that trigger and I picked up this Fender Player Mustang Bass PJ and I love this bass. It's legit one of my favorite instruments that I've ever owned. And it really opened my eyes to the quality that Fender is putting into their affordably priced player series. Fender makes some of the most iconic instruments. They're always in high demand. And the Fender Player Series is a really great way to get your hands on a quality Fender instrument at a more affordable price. Now last, but certainly not least, two of my favorite drops of 2021, the Mono Flyby Ultra Backpack and the Mono Vertigo Ultra Electric Guitar Case. We talked a lot about instruments and gear today and you're gonna wanna make sure that all of your gear is protected. Mono stuff is always top quality, whether I'm going across town or across country, I know that my gear, my guitar are gonna be nice and protected. The Mono Ultra products, as the name suggests, come at a bit of a higher price point than some of Mono's other products, so I'll be sure to link up a variety of different bags and cases that I've personally used that I really like. Everything, of course, comes with that high standard of quality that we know and love from Mono. Well, all right, my friends, that is gonna do it for today's video. Please leave a comment below and share any products, instruments, gear, plugins that you've really been digging this past year. Until next time, my name's Patrick. I will catch you real soon, all right? Peace.